Shalom Lekulam. Welcome to Teshuva Bible Studies. My name is Ben. And today we're going to do a, actually something a little bit different. Uh, we're doing a, a, a movie review. Uh, as many of you have probably known from my channel, if you watch me in the past, I'm a huge fan of The Chosen. And I did go and see it at the theater. It was amazing. I went with my family, with my wife and my daughter. And my daughter is 12 years 12 years old and we thoroughly enjoyed it it was amazing it's a different experience to see the show i've been a fan of the show since it started but it's definitely a, a different experience to see it with the community with other people around you because everybody's experiencing uh, the same thing at the same time so there was a lot of laughing a lot of crying around us and it does it does make take it to another level it takes it to a different level when you experience things with other people so obviously i encourage everyone to go and see this amazing show and also to promote it and to tell others about it now i do wanted to to give you guys a little bit of a reason well a little bit of a bigger reason why i actually started this channel and it was actually because of The Chosen. That's why I have such a passion for The Chosen. Um, I remember when the show first came out, probably three, maybe four years ago. I'm not sh exactly sure about the timing, uh, but I watched it when it first came out and when it first aired. And I remember at the time, I think he was uh, showing on YouTube for free before he, you know, they even had the app and everything. So every week I would, um, you know, set the, si the time aside to watch it as it premiered live on YouTube. And I remember when I watched the second episode of season one, which was actually the episode called Shabbat. And that was the episode that kind of changed my life and it changed the direction that, that my faith and my life was going at the time. Um, I remember watching that episode and I was mesmerized by the way uh, the Israelites uh, celebrated Shabbat and how the different communities and the different Israelites and the different level levels of people all focused on that day and how they you know prayed before everything, before every meal, and they were thankful for everything that they got. And they were constantly in connection with the Creator, constantly in connection with uh, the Lord. And that kind of uh, moved in my heart. And I remember uh, getting very emotional in that episode and then asking, you know, and then basically saying uh, out loud. Um, and I was watching this by myself, right? And I was like, wow, no wonder these are God's chosen people, right? Because the name of the episode, the name of the show was Cho The Chosen. So obviously I was thinking about the chosen people of God that the scriptures clearly say that are the Israelites. And I remember saying, well, uh, no wonder you chose these as your people. Every, they focus on everything they do, they focus on you. And then I remember the Holy Spirit telling me in my heart, and you know, people who say that they hear God uh, in their hearts, uh, if you have never had that experience, it might sound like something crazy. But those of you who have intimacy with God and 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 they know the voice of the Spirit, uh, they they are not going to think that I'm crazy and they are going to understand exactly what I'm saying. But I felt this this voice in my heart from the Spirit saying that you are part of these people, and I that's not what I was taught my entire life. Right? I've been a Christian for almost thirty years, and I've always uh, learned that the there are uh the church is god's chosen people and the israelites were the people of god but they rejected the messiah so now the church replaced the israelites and that's what uh, we, most people learn in contemporary christianity and that's what most people learn in seminary that's what most people learn in church but that day the holy spirit told me no you're actually part of these people and i was like what do you you know i remember thinking what are you talking about i'm not jewish what are you talking about you know these are jews and then the holy spirit just said nope you're part of this people 
just do some more research about it, seek it out. And I was like, okay. And I, I didn't really understand at that time what was happening. So I remember that I just slept on it. And then the next day, curiously enough, when I woke up and I work from home and I work uh, online. So what I usually do is while I'm doing my work, I also listen to YouTube worship music or I have something in the background like most people do uh, in the office. So I remember I started my work and I put YouTube uh, so that I could listen to music in the background. And I remember the first video that popped up on my uh, screen that was like the suggested videos for that day was a video from Jim Staley called Identity Crisis. And that drew my attention and it prompted me and I started watching that video. And that was the video that kind of changed my life. And that was the video that started my whole journey. And that's the video that it's um, the reason that I have this channel. That's the video that made me want to learn about the Israelites and the culture and the history of the church and to learn the Hebrew language. So that was that it started at all. So that's why I have a, a special place in my heart for the chosen, a spe special place in my heart for that episode. And uh, it is because of that episode and because of that show that I started this ministry, that I started this channel. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I, I did try to reach out to Dallas uh, and, and share my story with him, but I understand that he probably gets thousands and thousands of uh, promptings and people trying to reach out to him. And he gets thousands and thousands of these messages. So I understand completely. And as the show gets bigger and bigger, we're probably gonna have less and less access to uh, to Dallas, but. You know, if he does happen to watch this video, or if anybody in his staff what happens to watch this video, I just wanted to say thank you. That's all I do. I don't want anything from you. I'm not uh, trying to, you know, get your attention for that reason. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for following God's, uh, you know, prompting to do that show. And, and thank you for pouring out your life to do that show. Uh, this is just one example of a life that has been changed because of the show. And of course, all the glory is to God and the Holy Spirit. But of course, we also wanna be thankful to those who are doing the work and following God's prompting. So I just wanted to say thank you, Dallas. Um, your show literally, literally changed my life. Um, if I look at uh, myself three years ago from where I am today, the journey that the whole, um, of course, <laughs> This whole thing is a journey for us, and I see a total, total different future for myself. But everything started at that day with your show. So I wanted to say thank you for that, and um, continue to do uh, God's work. And I have, I'm pretty sure you probably already know this, but your show is gonna be one of those that are always gonna be remembered as revolutionary. And I always tell people, come and see. I have all a lot of your merch because. <laughs> Everywhere that I go, I'm telling people about The Chosen. Also, by the way, I was at the feeding of the 5,000 and I did have that experience as well. Um, maybe I'll put a, do another video sharing my experience of what I had with uh, feeding of the 5,000. With that, I would I just want to say, uh, encourage everybody to go see this at the theaters. Support the show. It's worth it. And it was awesome. So I highly recommend it. Shalom, have a great day, and I see you guys on the next video.